Hi, welcome. Oh, there's oh. a dog. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's your name? What's your Her name? Her name is Artemis, like the Greek goddess. Oh. Okay, so mm -hmm. um, I'm really excited about this. I have um, some Korean plum wine, uh -huh. uh, it's called, uh, which is a is actually like a three part recipe that I've been doing because I started by um, making the, like a plum syrup, and mm -hmm. then now it's uh, been steeping in alcohol for the past three months to mm -hmm. become plum wine. Mm -hmm. So I have it under here. Okay. Yeah. So this. So, okay. what happened was, I put, I got the um, sour green plums mm -hmm. back in May or June, mm -hmm. and I put them in sugar, uh -huh. and you don't add any um, water or anything to it, you just pack them in sugar, and mm -hmm. it like draws the, um, the moisture out of the fruit, and then mm -hmm. you get this syrup, mm -hmm. so I have the syrup in the refrigerator, mm -hmm. but then I took the plums out, and then you put them in um, soju, mm -hmm. and then it's just been sitting for another three months, oh. so now it's ready to actually taste, so I'm really excited okay. to, yeah, so yeah okay? it smells really sweet. Sweet. Mm. It smells good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then. Okay. So we're gonna try to do this carefully. Mm, ah, I can smell. Yeah. <laughs> it's really, yeah, it's really sweet. Okay. Yeah. So cheers. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like this. It's good. Very good. Oh yeah, it definitely has the flavor from the plums. Mm. It's sweet. Mm. And it has a little bit of the color too. It's like yeah. become a little bit yellowish. Mm. Ooh, oh. I like that. So three months. are you satisfied? Yeah, it was worth the wait. It was worth three months. Yeah. <laughs> Success. <laughs> okay. I gotta cut the, um, they all have a pit inside, so I have to cut that off. I really should be eating this with rice, but mm -hmm. <laughs> just to see how see how it is. It's very spicy. Mm -hmm. Do you oh, think it's good. it's good with the white rice? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's very it is spicy, and I still get that alcohol taste from uh, the um, uh -huh. from the. But it, no, it mixes nicely with the um, the hot pepper base. It's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Another success. Yeah, yeah. another yes. <laughs> There's a um, a recipe for this like hand pulled. Um, sort of cotton candy, mm -hmm. and I was really excited to try it. Mm -hmm. But the first step is to melt sugar with corn syrup, and it's supposed to solidify into like a hard block, uh -huh. and then you're pulling on it. Um, mm. And I, I tried to do it. I melted the sugar, and uh -huh. then I let it sit. Uh -huh. But um, as you can see, it's still liquid. Uh -uh. So I think what I did wrong here would not work out, but yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's always fun to, to try like to experiment with different right, recipes. Right. I enjoy it. So. Yeah, two success, one failure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Through a Roman dinner party, mm -hmm. um, I made a bunch of things from this book and mm -hmm. just invited friends mm -hmm. and it ended it's up... Ancient food in Yes, oh, okay. yeah, the ancient, all ancient Roman things, mm -hmm. and that was when I tried the cheesecake, and mm -hmm. I made different ones, and, and people liked it. But basically, inside each of these little compartments is a spice or an herb that was popular with the ancient Greeks. And some of them you may know, and some of them you may not know. So you can open them up and, and smell them. Some are Indian. One, uh, so thyme, oregano, rosemary is another one that was, that was used by the ancient Greeks, um, who also you just take a little spoon of the opson and put it on the bread and just pass it around. So opson is the stuff you put on sitels to make it taste better. Um, also, and the most desirable opson was fish. As I said, fish, of course, is like super important to ancient Greek cuisine. Um, and yeah, it could be, could be almost anything. And actually, the word opson gives us the interesting cuisine and Korean cuisine. In both of those cases, the grain that they're referring to is rice. And there's this concept that the rice is so essential to the meal that sometimes the word for rice can be. You like grind it up into a powder and it like just melts mm -hmm. into it. Made from barley and uh, honey and mint. It's supposed to be beer? Well, it's a beverage. It's like a beverage made from barley. It's not uh, alcoholic. Uh, no alcohol. Yeah. Oh, okay. No alcohol. Okay. Yeah. This is a. Uh, how how can you describe that taste? Very. <clears throat> Very kind of light and refreshing and earthy. Uh -huh. It's 
Σκανδιόρ. Πώς είναι. Εντάξει, αλλά... Εντάξει, αλλά...